I'm Blake, I grew up in the FLDS community. When I was 11 years old, I was separated from my family and I lived in a shop office for a good year. And holding it helped brought me to ICS for an education. I just love everything about it. I'm Renan, I'm from a polygamous group, the FLDS in Southern Utah, where I received a fifth grade level education. I'm in 11th grade now, and I'm hoping to become an orthodontist. Hi, I'm Levi. Uh, I grew up in the FLDS church. Um, I left when I was 13. Had my my educational uh, level was at pre-K. Did not read, did not uh, spell, and so now I'm here at ICS. They accepted me, and they've been helping me out a lot, and I really love it here. My name is Tanya Tool, and I am the founder and executive director of an organization called Holding Out Help. And we serve those people who are transitioning out of polygamy. There are anywhere between 40 to 100,000 polygamists living in the western United States, Canada, and Mexico. And a majority of them live right here and around Utah. So imagine for a moment, you are living under a dictatorship where every decision is made for you. From what to wear, watch, eat, read, whom you can associate with, even down to whom you can marry. Child labor and sexual abuse seem to be the norm, and child labor starts as young as 10 years old. Boys are born and bred to actually go out and work for the church to bring income in all over the United States of America. And the girls start at roughly about age 12, they learn how to become mothers and wives. The sad thing is, is they really believe that their salvation rests in the hands of one man, and that is their so-called prophet. And it's only when the burdens get too great or they're kicked out of their communities that they land on our doorstep. The gravity of what we're dealing with is the lack of education. Their education level is anywhere between the sixth and the eighth grade, which is a homeschooled and religious education. So they're usually a year to two years behind our public school system. That is why we have partnered with Intermountain Christian School to give these children the education that they deserve. Hey, I'm Mitch Manning. I'm the head of school here at Intermountain Christian School. We're a preschool through 12th grade school here in Salt Lake City, Utah. When I met the first student who came to us from holding out help, I realized the educational need was, was great. As a school, we're always looking at what's next, what programs are coming up. You consider lots of things. For instance, an international program would bring a lot of students in who really come with a lot of tuition dollars. However, being unique here in Utah, we saw this need with working with children who came out of a polygamous background who did not have the opportunity to be exposed to education that they need. And so we felt that's what we need to do, even though it didn't make sense fiscally because they didn't come with any tuition dollars. We realized this is something that we could do to really help in ways that even public schools were not able to provide for uh, for these students in their individual help. So this past fall, we just started an accelerated learning center. It's a place where we have teachers and volunteers working with students who can have that individual help that they have not had opportunity to have. These are bright kids to then catch up to grade level. And hopefully they can incorporate into the regular day-to-day -day life here at ICS in, in the future. We want you to join us. Here's how you can help. Mail-in contributions to ICS with Great Commission Utah Scholarship in the memo. Or visit our website at intermountainchristian.org or give us a call, we'd love to meet you. Thank you for your partnership.